Hey guys, it's Troy here, and uh, here's a video I never really thought I would do, but I figured recently with my latest experiences that I figured I'd go ahead and do a, a, a pin video on rollerballs. Yeah, I mean, now don't get me wrong, I love the movie Rollerball. The original, not the remake. The remake sucks. Uh, but uh, I do like the movie Rollerball from the 1970s. Uh, but I've got three different Rollerballs here, and um, I've been using all three of these. One of the things I shared um, on this channel is I'm going back to college, and as such, I take a lot of notes. Um, and I'm not going to do all kinds of uh, expensive notepads, especially when laying around the house. I've got some old notebooks laying around that my kids used in high school. You know, it's just, you know, this here's an old one that, uh, you know, my oldest son used when he was in high school. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, ordinary, everyday note paper, you know, like a, in, a, in a spiral bound notebook. So I'm not going to do that on Claire Fontaine, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to spend that kind of money uh, for notes. So let's grab that notebook again, and I'm going to show you on the back here. I had some rather inexpensive disposable fountain pens that I had uh, actually received and had compared a little bit. And uh, one of them had a very fine line to it, so I figured, let me take a few notes with it. Some of my initial notes. And, uh, you know, I'm taking uh, economics. I'm an economics major. So uh, if you see the back side of some of my notes that I've got. Um, so I'm going to be doing some graphing. I'm going to be doing some formulas. I'm going to be doing an awful lot of scratch pad writing. As a matter of fact, while I'm doing a lot of that stuff, while I'm uh, working on problems, um, I've been using this, this Pelican pad uh, that you get from Pelican Hubs. So I've been using a lot of that because quite honestly, it's not much good for letter writing. So, um, but I am using it, you know, with roller balls and I'm actually doing a lot of problem solving uh, and practice problems on that. But that just did not quite cut it for me. Because uh, you can see, there's no way I'm writing on the back side of that. All right, being an econ major, yeah, here are some of my notes on you know markets and stuff, competitive markets, demand, supply, and all that sort of stuff. So you can see I've got, uh, I can write on both sides um, of a pad or one of these uh, fairly inexpensive uh, notepads that you get at Walmart. So that's why I switched to rollerball. Now, I could do ball points. Now, I've got some ball points that I really like here in the house, um, but, um, you know, I, I try to stick with fountain pens as much as possible in everyday life, but lately, life has been taking me to writing with rollerballs or ball points because of note-taking in college, and for no other reason than that. And a lot of my life has been taking up been taken up with that, which is why you haven't seen a lot of videos uh, from me here recently. But here are three roller balls that I've got in my collection. And this one here was a, a kit pen uh, some I picked up fairly inexpensively, and I think it had like a fountain pen, a roller ball, and a ballpoint all in one box for like 10 bucks. Okay, so, but one of the things you're going to find kind of interesting, okay, I'll take this apart, this little kit pen, and... All right, there's a cartridge. The cartridge that goes in it. All right, how about Parker Vector? Kind of like the Parker Vector. My son loves a Parker Vector fountain pen because um, he's got like some ones with Shrek on it. Pull that apart. A little different in the, uh, the spring-loaded mechanism, but... And you can hear a little bit, some spring in there. That's the cartridge that goes in it. The Waterman Karen. I love Waterman Karen fountain pens. I've got uh, several here in our collection at home and a great style, great quality usually. And I picked up a rollerball version to add to my collection. As a matter of fact, I did a video some time ago when we were having a hurricane going on um, and uh, I had gotten that as pen mail. But you open that up and you can see uh, it's very stylish. Definitely a heftier pen than the others, but set that down. You notice something? They're all the same. They all take the exact same cartridge that goes in a rollerball. Amazing, huh? Well, what does that tell you? They're all going to write essentially the same quality. 
This one I'm pretty sure I've already written dry. And uh, I was using the Parker Vector most of all because that was a quick easy grab for me and I was using it and I didn't mind how it felt in the hand and it was uh, it was you know easy to go ahead and take and it was easy to go ahead and throw in a pocket to leave on my desk didn't matter if it got banged up because it isn't made of metal it's you know a nice little Parker all right so I use that for the most part right and then I went ahead and I grabbed this one and it actually wrote better wrote better than the Parker Vector did well <laughs> there's a couple reasons number one the Parker Vector was starting to run out of ink and that one actually wrote better I, I, I the ball itself it just rolled a whole lot better well this one here is the one that wrote the best out of the three um, and you know I, I didn't have a problem swapping these cartridges around to make sure that this particular pen uh, is my favorite to write with because of the weight of the pen and how it feels with the ergonomics of the pen itself. Um, and uh, it just feels better in my hand. So that's why I like this particular one. So I put the best writing rollerball cartridge in here out of those three. So one of them I know I'm going to chuck because I wrote it dry. And it's just like writing with a fountain pen when you see a fountain pen is starting to really fade on the ink. Um, it's starting to get lighter and lighter, so my black started to go into a gray. A couple of things I'm going to show you also about rollerballs, however. You know, this is what a fresh cartridge looks like. So I've got a replacement cartridge for that other one. I've got, actually, I keep in, you know, a drawer where I've got a lot of, look at all those are ballpoint replacements. And I've got a few other rollerball cartridge replacements. Um, these are for Cross, I do believe. Uh, I got Cross ones, by the way, are great for old Waterman. Um, yeah, so, some old Waterman, uh, and I did a video on that too. But now here's some Monteverde replacement rollerball cartridges. So. So those are my you know replacements. So I've got some and I can keep on writing. Here is another rollerball, believe it or not, and uh, this is more akin to a fountain pen. I only wrote with it one time because I got it working just the once. This pen was given to me by my friend Larry with Larry's Fountain Pens, and uh, you know when he first gave it to me, I was able to get it to write just fine. Super Five. Not real familiar with the brand, but and what's Kind of like a demonstrator looking thing that inside of it is a standard international cartridge like you would use in a fountain pen now just before i went to go do this video i put that cartridge into it because i had it cleaned up and sitting on my shelf and you can see i've got some ink down here in that reservoir or that uh you know that feed going into that roller ball and i actually have a picture of the ball itself um Here's the deal. All a rollerball is, and that cartridge is liquid compared to, let's say, in a ballpoint, it's got a paste. A fast drying paste, which was what really made um, those a popular pen. They're inexpensive, you know, for uh, for a ballpoint, and the ink dried really fast. But with a rollerball, it's a liquid instead of a paste inside of there. And hence the idea here of using standard international cartridge to go inside this Super 5. But I couldn't get this thing to write worth anything. I mean, I played with it. I tinkered with it. Um, and this is not the first time I've had this issue. But I put a cartridge in just to see if I could get it to work for this video. Now, I can't get it to write for anything. No matter what I do, I can't get the rollerball to work. So... Don't know why, don't know what the problem is, but I cleaned it out after the first use and I could never get it to write again. And I keep trying to, every so often, and every, uh, once a year, maybe once every year and a half, I'll pull it out and see if I can get it to work. But nope, not going to happen. So, instead of using you know a ballpoint, and I've got ballpoints here at my desk because there are cases for use of a ballpoint pen, um, I go ahead and I use those. But... You know, every once in a while, I like to 
you know, use for, especially now that I'm in college and I'm taking an, a, a whole lot of notes, um, you know, man, I could tell it's been a while since I've been in college and I'm taking an awful lot of notes. And we've got these notebooks around, these inexpensive notebooks that you buy your kids for school, for back to school. That's what I'm going to use in college too. I mean, I, I can look on my shelves right now and I've got a stack of them left over from when the kids did theirs. Uh, or had theirs for school. Some of them unused, some of them used, and I'll just use the unused pages to do my notes because I am a remote student at Oregon State University and I am on the opposite coast and I do my notes in my own way in my own notebooks here in this very desk. This is also where I earn a living, this is where I do my videos, and this is where I study.